Hello guys, welcome to yet another video of our YouTube channel Login Aids. In today's video, I'm going to guide you guys on how to inspect your element on iPhone. For that, make sure to watch the video till the end and you'll be able to do it in no time. Inspecting element is a new feature in the new browsers that helps you to edit the information from your site. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. First of all, tap open Shortcuts app. Shortcut is an inbuilt app in iOS devices but if you don't have shortcut go to your app store and type shortcuts on the search bar and download it after that tap open your shortcuts then you'll be loaded to your shortcut application then you can see a plus sign on the right upper corner of your screen tap on it in this page interface you can see add action option tap on it in the search bar, type share. Make sure you tap on share and not on share with apps. After that, you can see input beside share, tap on it. After that, a menu like this will pop up on your screen and you'll have to tap on shortcut input. Then you'll be redirected to a page something like this and you'll have to tap on any which is besides receive. After that, a menu like this will pop up and you'll have to tap on clear which is on the left upper corner of your screen. After tapping on clear, you'll have to see the web option and toggle on Safari web pages option. Tap on done. After that, you can see nowhere besides input from, tap on it and toggle on the option of show in share sheet. Then tap on done. By tapping on the back icon on your screen which is on the left lower corner, go back to your share screen interface. And go back again to your new shortcut interface. In that page, tap on add action again. In the search bar, type Java. After you type Java, tap on run JavaScript on web page. After you tap on that, you'll have to tap on open settings. In that you can see shortcut input, you'll have to delete everything and make it empty. After you've emptied it, type in the exact statement that I have written on my screen. After that, tap on done. Now go back to your home screen and tap on Safari and go to a website of your choice. In the bottom bar of your screen, you can see a share option in the middle, tap on it. Then scroll down until you find run JavaScript on web page. After you find it, tap on it and tap on allow on the window that pops after that. Then go back to your web page by crossing the window. Then you'll be able to inspect the element on iPhone. So after you refresh it, it will be back to its original form because the edit is only from your side. So that's it for the video guys. I hope the video was informative. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Till then, keep watching.